So as it turns out, in the last Apple event in the fall of 2018, this fall, Apple finally announced that they will now give support to third-party apps like Google Maps and Waze for Apple CarPlay. So today for the first time I used Waze uh, in my car driving to work and uh, I must say it works actually better than expected. Now to get this working you need iOS 12 installed on your iPhone and also you need a compatible system as Apple call it. Turns out my Volvo is a compatible system uh, but I'm not sure which other models will work and not. And it worked on my Volvo although I did not update any software on the Volvo. Anyway, let's have a look inside the car and see what this looks like. So I have been using Waze over the maybe last five years and this is although that my Volvo has a built-in navigation system of its own that actually works pretty good but the Volvo system isn't that great uh, in like the way Waze is when it comes to heavy traffic and giving you warnings calculating the best route. So I decided to go for this setup with my phone uh, right here on my dashboard uh, running Waze. This was my setup for a long time because Waze is simply outstanding when it comes to uh, giving you a heads up about traffic. So if everything is working you should be able to go into Apple CarPlay and you will find the Waze icon right there. And when you enter the application if the phone goes into search mode where you have all of the, the latest addresses that you have entered uh, if you don't have your uh, iPhone open, if it's locked down, then pretty much nothing will happen when you go into Waze. It's just gonna look like this. Nothing's gonna happen on the phone, but if you open the phone, it's going to uh, get out of Waze if you go to the home, press the home button. So that's how it works. With App that's how it works with Apple CarPlay. Maybe one day we can run like uh, a different application like Google Maps here and then run Waze here. But for now, it's just gonna switch to Waze on the phone, just like this. So when it's time to start navigating, it's pretty much easy. You have two ways of doing this. Either you go with your favorites or you make a new search. So if you wanna go with a favorite, you just press star and you go for uh, some kind of address here gonna pop up just like that and time to go uh, if you instead want to go with the search feature you just press here search and you have a keyboard up on the right side you can enter like Stockholm and search you can go to Stockholm go now and it will give you a route so this works pretty good also with the keyboard uh, really great I also think that the keyboard feature is pretty responsive, actually. So, uh, but there is no way to like use a microphone and dictate where you wanna go. Then you will have to open the app on your phone. Also, when you go for a search, you have all the previous addresses right there. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy to start navigating once you use your old addresses. Okay, so now we are navigating, at least we are pretending to be navigating because I am just sitting in the car. But uh, using the map is pretty much straightforward. Uh, down here you have your arrival time, uh, the time until you arrive and the distance, just like Waze, all the information that you need. Also on the right side here you have this upper dot, it takes you into navigation so you can move around the map side to side zoom out zoom in feature also here you can recenter you can get an overview of your route you can use the arrows but i found that you can actually like drag like this but it's it's pretty slow so i don't think i'm going to use this i'm just going to press recenter and just go for navigation but it's good to know that once you open up a new route press here and go for overview to get a good uh, look at your route and which route it decided for you. If you want to choose between routes, you just press 
first touch the screen then you press the arrows up here and there you will have some options for which way to go like this not much of a big difference right now but there are some options and then just go event reporting is a bit different from your phone it's the orange button right here if you press it you have the regular ones like police, accident, traffic and danger. One difference here is that police and accident doesn't have like different levels. In the application you have the police like hidden, visible, accident, you have major, small accidents. But if you press uh, police or accident it's just gonna say bang on the map. But if you press traffic, then you can decide like easy, heavy, very heavy. Uh, also with danger, you can say on road, on the shoulder and so on. So that's pretty much same thing as always. But uh, with the CarPlay version, it is a bit more simplified, but it works pretty good, I would say. I wanted to know if the CarPlay version of Waze was good enough that I would actually like put my phone away and so far I must say that I am very impressed. Uh, the version with CarPlay is actually that good that I don't feel that I have to use my phone at all. So that's very good. Well thank you Apple for finally opening up a bit and letting third party users enter our uh, uh, <laughs> The CarPlay systems, we can use Google Maps or Waze if we like to. Uh, both great applications for navigating. So I will keep trying this system for the upcoming days. Uh, see if there is anything else that I can find out about it. If I find anything, I will drop a comment down below. Put it as a sticker with some information for you guys who are looking out to try Waze in your CarPlay system. Uh, if you don't have Apple CarPlay, simply buy a new car and that will resolve your issue. Also, if you have any questions about the system, drop a comment down below and I will try to answer if I have an answer. Uh, if any one of you guys knows uh, what Apple's definition of a compatible system is, is it Volvo, is it Volkswagen, is it uh, other brands and you happen to know which one this update is working for please drop a comment down below so that we can together figure out uh, in which models this will work and not so anyway it just took five years finally we have ways integrated into the car so much suffering and agony sleepless nights over this issue <laughs> uh, but finally it has been resolved so uh, thanks for watching this video, if you, if you did find it helpful you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe or no, you know what, you don't have to su subscribe unless you want to, it doesn't really matter, you do what you want, that's important these days. That's Waze in CarPlay, see you in the next video.